I'm just going to show how close these properties are to one another. So here's the first growth, Chateau Margaux. And it is right there. And then I'm just going to turn around. And you see the fairy tale castle over there. That's Chateau Palmer, which is a third growth. And really, what's separating them? Quite a lot. I'm at Chateau Margaux in Margaux. And this is about as far as I'm going to get because I'm not Jancis Robinson. But isn't it beautiful? I'm at Chateau Palmer and we're about to begin our tour. We're at Chateau Palmer and I'm just going to show you a little bit of the different soil conditions. But first of all, we have the neighbor, Chateau Margaux, behind me and it's just on this side of the church. You can just kind of see the roof line. You can see how close it is. Onto the soil. There's really three, four different kinds of soil types in a really, really small area. And I'm just going to show you uh, an example of, okay, so this has like lots of rocks in it. But it's also got soil and it's from the Dordogne River uh, and it started up in the volcanic sort of middle of France. And then the river flowed down and deposited this kind of sandy soil. So it's a specific kind of soil type that the Merlot loves, and this is Merlot. Okay, now I'm going to move over, and I'm going to show you how different the soil becomes in really quite a short amount of time. Now it's looking more like a riverbed, and you can see like the, yeah, it's just rocks. It's just rocks like that. There's a little bit of soil, but mostly it's rocks. And at first they didn't think that anything could grow here. Now, we're, this is a long time ago because of the soil conditions. But obviously, things are going quite well. So now I'm going to show you the third type. And I'm just going to walk just a little ways down here. And now it's big rocks. It's like mini galette. So... So this is the size of the rocks now in this, in this section. So what they do is they take, they take grapes from there and the sandier area and they vinify them in a tank. Then they take the, the, the rows with the smaller pebbles, they vinify them in a tank. Then they take these rows and they vinify them in a tank. Then, because they'll all be different, then the cellar master or the winemaker will blend them all. Okay, now just at the end here, so this kind of goes along, and then I'm just going to point down to the end, and at the end, that's back to the sandier soil. Those will be put in another tank. 